Hi everybody, my name is Dave Robert Shaw. I'm the product manager for the IntelliTools products at Cambium Learning Technologies and I'm at the ATA Center in Petaluma, California today. I'm going to show you how to use the IntelliKeys USB. Okay, when you receive your IntelliKeys USB, the first thing you want to make sure you do is install the IntelliKeys USB driver which comes on this CD. Once you've done that, then you can plug in your IntelliKeys USB and get started. Uh, included in your box you'll, it are these uh, overlays that you'll receive. These are standard overlays with various keyboard layouts. Really quickly, uh, I'll, I'll run through these. There's the QWERTY USB overlay. This includes most of the QWERTY keys that come on a standard keyboard, as well as mouse control buttons. On the back, there's a similar QWERTY layout. This one includes keys for using typical web browsers, so forward and back, stop, home, refresh, etc. It also includes uh, an alphabetical overlay with large keys and a basic writing overlay, which is a QWERTY but uh, with fewer keys than the uh, standard QWERTY. These types of overlays are really helpful for people that maybe aren't familiar with the typical QWERTY layout or if they're younger children and uh, are they're more comfortable using the alphabetical approach, they can get started on the computer. It also includes uh, a math overlay, which has uh, keys that you can use for calculators or math programs, as well as mouse keys. These are large buttons that you could use to control the mouse using the IntelliKeys keyboard. The last standard overlay is a settings overlay. This is called the setup overlay. It has various uh, setting controls, which I'll show you a couple of today. And on the back, it has a full description of uh, what the different settings are. So let's take a look at one of the overlays. I'm going to slide in the QWERTY overlay, and you just slide it in like this, and you'll hear it beep when it's recognized. So now I'm going to use the QWERTY overlay to type a few words. It's that easy. Now I can also capitalize really easily just by hitting one of the, the shift characters, for example. It'll hold that key down for me. So, I, don't, I can be a one-finger or one-arm typist and not have to uh, have another approach to try to get capital letters or other keys like Control or Alt. Now, if I don't have the uh, fine motor control to type these individual characters, I might end up, for example, holding my finger down and typing lots of keys. Well, I don't want to do that, so I'm going to use some of the setup overlay features to adjust that setting. Oh, actually, what I'll do right now is, first of all, I'll clean up this page a little bit. And I'll do uh, Control A and then Delete. So let's sl slide in the setup overlay here. So what I'm going to do is turn down the response rate. I'll hit response rate and then I'll turn it down from 15 to 9. Now when I put in the QWERTY overlay, I can move my hand all over the keyboard and it's not going to type until I dwell in a certain spot. Now you notice it types a whole bunch of keys, or a whole bunch of letters. I'm going to change that as well. So I'll go back to my setup overlay. Now what I'll do is use the repeat features, repeat off key to turn off repeat. So now when I slide in the overlay, I can type and I'll move my finger around, I'll leave it on a certain key, and it only types one. Now I can go to the next key. Etc. Now if that isn't sufficient, we also have key guards which can be used on top of the overlay so that a user could rest their hand right on the keyboard and then put their finger inside here to click. So that's a quick look at the IntelliKeys USB. For more information, take a look inside your manual that comes with the, uh, the whole package. And um, thanks for watching.